Hello friends and welcome back to another Stalker Anomaly tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how crafting works and how you can waste a lot of time getting things that you probably were better off buying in the first place. Excuse me a second. I'm trying to do a tutorial! Shut up! Sorry about that. So, crafting is a thing that exists in Stalker Anomaly and can allow you to upgrade or otherwise create some items that you otherwise would have to pay rubles for or get lucky and find. However, it's not as easy as that because you still need to get lucky and find other things. First things you're going to need, much like with the repairing, are basic tools. And then for some of the more complicated things, you're also going to need advanced tools and expert tools. These you can find in stashes in certain spawn spots on the map as well. Once you've got these, you're going to want to go to a mechanic and, or a technician rather, and you're going to want to hand them over. And once you've done this, all of the crafting recipes will be available for you to use, kind of. If I ask him to use his workbench, he'll say yes. I'll go over to it. I'll go over to the crafting tab. I'll go to devices, and there is stuff that I can craft. For instance, I can make an echo detector, which requires me to have basic tools, and these parts right here. But if I wanted to craft, say, a valise detector, well, I can't. Because I require, I do not, rather, I do not know how to craft valise detector yet. Likewise, other useful things like larger backpacks and uh, even some upgrade parts for guns, repair kits. These are things that I do not know how to make yet. In order to know how to make them, I need to find these. Mechanics manuals. Uh, safety guide to ammunition, which is probably the least useful thing. Uh, survival guides, drug recipes, and engineering manuals. When if you find one of these, usually on the body of a dead stalker, if you double click them, it's going to open up like that, and it's going to show you a whole bunch of recipes. For instance, I now know how to make an RF receiver. Now when I go back to that workbench, I go to crafting, I go to devices, I have the recipe for an RF receiver available, and I can now make it, if I have the parts. Once I've gone through, and I've acquired all of these things, I can now basically craft every single thing in the game. Now, these are kind of rare, so it is RNG based as to whether you're going to find everything you need to craft what you want, but there are some useful things. I now know how to craft all these things. So if I wanted, for instance, a, uh, a Svardog detector, I would need a valise, and a whole bunch of other stuff. And the uh, technician that I'm working with, whose bench I'm using, would need to have expert tools. So how do we get the parts? Just like with repairing stuff to get crafting components, you need to disassemble things. So let's say that I have killed a bunch of, uh, bunch of stalkers, and I've received some random crap, a whole bunch of useless things, what would you do with these useless things? Sell them to a vendor? No! You would get a disassembly tool of some kind. For instance, multi-tools. But for smaller items like this, you can also use a Swiss knife. Or even a grooming kit. And with these things... If you right-click, hold Alt, and then click disassemble, it will disassemble the thing and give you stuff. Alternatively, if you want to use a specific item to disassemble something, for instance you don't want to damage your multi tool, you want to make sure that it's a swiss knife that's being used, you can click on it, hold down alt, drag it over what you want to disassemble, and that will do the trick as well. Any of these items will allow you to disassemble stuff. And you'll notice that as I'm disassembling things, I'm getting all the components, well not necessarily all the components, but I'm getting some components. Um, you can get metal scraps from disassembling shovels, Stuff like that. Now that we have these things, not in the quantity that we need, but we'll just fix that real quick. Parts. So, going back to here, going to devices. So I'm using this Farog as an example. I am trying to do a tutorial. I'm using this Farog as an example. Because... I have that glitch again, don't I? I do not. I'm using this Farog as an example. Because this Farog is something you cannot find in the game. You must craft it. And so very simply, once you have all the parts that you need, if you have the recipe, 
and you have the expert tools that you've handed over, well, in this case, expert tools, but the, the required tools are handed over to the technician in question, and you press craft, bang, it will create that object. And you will be the proud owner of a brand new thing you made all by yourself. So that's quite simply how to craft things. Um, on a basic note, I would say that ammo crafting is just not worth it. The amount of ammo that you get for the investment of materials and time is just not even worth it. Unless you do some kind of hardcore challenge where you can't purchase ammo, then maybe it'll be useful. Otherwise, I would just purchase ammo. Uh, other things have varying uh, levels of usefulness, but... Like with repairing stuff, I would take it on a more holistic level where if you happen to find the components needed for doing a specific thing, I would take advantage of that. Otherwise, I would not be going out of my way to craft stuff. Uh, one lesson to be learned would be to just disassemble all of those junk items that you find. Keep the components just in case you do find a recipe and you do have the ability to craft something valuable rather than paying the money for it. In any case, I hope this tutorial was helpful for someone, and I'll be making more things like this in the future, perhaps. In the meantime, take care of yourselves, and goodbye. I don't care. I own a house, two motorcycles, and a car. I don't care about 30 fucking dollars. Oh, sorry, Leo. Okay. <laughs> it's nothing but a good idea, trust me. Oh, he's there. <laughs> oh, I had that work out for you, dude. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's simple if you know how. <laughs> now, why did I die just now? Because this guy's fucking shit. God fucking damn it. Let's start the stream.